Hi, I'm Dustin Nelson, and I'm the creator of Rapid Rig and the various Rapid Rig products. In this video, I am going to briefly go over how to install Rapid Rig Modular for Windows. So, after you've made your purchase and you've downloaded it, you can uh, navigate to your downloads directory and you should see rrm3installers.zip. This file may potentially change at some point, but uh, for now, this is the name um, while in beta. And so if I were to either double click or I could extract it, I'll just do an extract all. Either way it works. Um, but yeah, you could go directly into the zip itself, but I'm just going to unzip it just to be um, consistent with what you might have to do on a Mac. So if I go into my RRM3 installers, I'll go in here and then I have my Mac OS and Windows. So I'm on my PC, so I'll go to my Windows and in here, there is some instructions for installation. So I'll just go ahead and open that up and I'll bring that down. There we go. And so I'll just walk through these steps as I go through. So we will uh, double click on the installer and then we'll get this little pop-up asking for us to uh, go through. So I'll just choose next and I'll read and make sure I agree with the uh, ULA. I will accept the terms and next. And then um, this is the default installation directory. If you install here, it should be easier to set up, but if you are working in a project and you need to have this on Perforce or Git or some other place uh, for your projects, that's fine. You can choose a different directory, but I'm going to use default and I will choose next. And then I will install and this will take a couple moments. You probably get a little pop-up asking you to um, agree to the installation go okay and now it's installing and it should say completed and I'll hit finish so now I will jump into Maya and currently this works for either Maya 2022 or 2023 it will support all versions going forward um, I don't have backwards compatibility before that because I've been using Python 3 anyway um, now we're in Maya 2023 and I'm going to go to Windows settings preferences plugin manager and I'll bring this window over and scroll to the very bottom and it should be in this directory. So if everything went well, um, it should just be here and then you can load it. If not, you can refer back to the, um, the notes or the installation file. So let's bring that back. So this here. So um, if it doesn't work, you can just copy this here so you can go to the browse. Uh, so let's copy that here copy and browse. And then if you just paste it down here and hit open, it should add it to the bottom. And now what you could do is choose loaded. And uh, if it's successful, you should get the little eye and you should see these two commands here. So that's good. And you may as well turn on auto load if you're planning on using this over and over again. And then once you hit uh, close, oh, I seem to have had some duplicates for some reason, but in any case, these should do the same thing. So I'll click here. And this will bring up the main UI. And then I can go in and start creating my uh, proxies and then my final rig, but I will not do that in this video just because this is just for installation. And then, um, yeah, the selector window should pop up because I have no rig in my scene, it'll just be empty. And that's basically the process for installing on Windows.